know I get overly excited about almost every video I make but I'm extra 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 excited about this one. Hello I'm Louise if you're new here and I love books. All kinds of books. I don't discriminate but one genre I've been trying really hard to get into recently is like fantasy. I have not read very much fantasy. I was very into it as a teenager and then I got into my kind of I only read contemporary fiction, fantasy, you no, and I don't know why I was so prejudiced because fantasy is awesome. Uh, 2022 is the year where I'm exploring all the fantasy that I missed out on, but I have received a proof copy of a very, very exciting fantasy novel. It's in this sexy packaging from Titan Books. If I take it out, I still have to fully unbox it. But in my hands, I am holding Gallant by V.E. Schwab. It has the sexiest little, I don't know why I call badges sexy, but the badges are beautiful. And you know what? I'm going to shut up, not talk for a little bit, and we're just going to open this baby because she is packaged. Stunning. Yep. I'm sitting on the floor recording on my phone's front camera uh, just for that good good unboxing content and I'm keeping my fingers crossed I can actually get it open successfully because I'm not very elegant at opening <laughs> I don't we'll see I'm ridiculously proud of myself for actually managing to successfully unbox this but oh my god gallant yeah also yeah this is intentional the red jumper and red nails I knew I was gonna be filming this today and I I mean I got into the part you know I love V.E. Schwab and this is one of my most anticipated reads of 2022 and I cannot believe that they reached out to send me a proof copy like I still pinch myself every day on this just me this silly little girl on this silly little booktube channel that like people want me to read books people want my thoughts you know you're watching this apparently you you want my thoughts and I still I don't know. I'm sorry, my brain is just all over the place, but I can't believe it. Thank you. Mwah, thank you so, so much. But enough for me. Back to Gallant. Okay. Well, I need the blurb. Let's read the blurb. Okay, so we have, and like, there is beautiful roses all over the back of this. Like, she is stunning. Truly, truly stunning. She's putting me to shame. <laughs> I look awful in comparison to this book. But at the top we have for fans of Neil Gaiman. Gaiman? 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 
you know the dude. The Secret Garden and Holly Black. Ooh. 16 year old Olivia Pryor is missing three things. A mother, a father and a voice. Her mother vanished all at once and her father by degrees. And her voice was the thing she never had to start with. She grew up in Maryland's school for girls. Near the end of her time there, Olivia receives a letter from an uncle she's never met, her father's older brother, summoning her to his estate, a place called Gallant. But when she arrives, she discovers that the letter she received was several years old. Her uncle is dead. The estate is empty, save for the servant. Oh. Oh. Olivia is permitted to remain, but must follow two rules. Don't go out after dusk and always stay on the right side of a wall that runs along the estate's western edge. Beyond it is another realm, ancient and magical, which calls to Olivia through her blood. Oh my god, the way I am literally going to devour this, like, instantly. It is 320 pages. It says, and I don't plan on stopping this for anything, so apologies to my supervisor, my research, my masters, and the participants in my current study. Gallant is taking full priority. But this just sounds incredible. Truly, I'm gonna say that so many times. I mean, like, the packaging. It came with these cute little badges. There's like, a regular oh this one's a ring around so it's like an upside down and like a regular gallant i'll try and move this closer to you i have a coffee table in front of me so <laughs> this is the best i can do but they are stunning they are going straight on my kankin so next year's kankin back to uni tour we'll have two new bookish related badges and like the prints there's one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, eight prints. My desk is gonna be looking bomb, but I have been absolutely spoiled rotten by Titan Books. I'm over the moon, I'm delighted. But enough of this. Let's actually get reading. the big long clip of me reading it was honestly quite atmospheric the sun was setting which I didn't realize until I stopped recording looked out the window and was like damn this book got me so gripped I literally didn't even notice it getting dark I mean the book has had darkness so maybe I was enveloped in darkness the whole time <laughs> I'm talking some absolute crap um but I'm by it's like the wrong way around this is the wrong cover um like a Third, I don't know why that isn't focusing. Let's try. Yeah, like a third of the way through, just over a third, I think. Page 110, and this is whenever I try really hard not to look at spoilers. No, I see there's an epilogue. The page is on. Literally <laughs> covering the entire page. Uh, 310. Okay, so I have literally like exactly 200 pages to go. This book is so, so good. I'm trying to think of what to say without spoiling anything. Obviously, as I've been very lucky to get an advanced copy, I literally am not allowed to say anything. Um, I don't know if Titan or watching my vid, but I promise I'm bit. I'm not saying anything. Um, so she is at Gallant and there's spooky stuff. She's not long at Gallant by the bit I'm at obviously 110. Um, she's been there a day I think. We've been introduced to some really cool characters and maybe some ghosts. That's all I'm gonna say. But it's really interesting. I'm really invested in what is going to happen next. There's definitely a big mystery like coming and underlying Olivia's family at the Gallant family home mansion. I mean like look at that cover. It's huge and she keeps describing it in such wonderful detail um, which you really feel like you can see 
the home. It's beautifully atmospheric and I know there was one scene, um, whenever you read it, you might know which scene, um, and it really reminded me of, you know in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, um, whenever he's just found the Marauder's Map and he's like wandering the hallways like at night time and like doesn't know what's going on. Kind of similar vibes, sans, map, but the writing was just so atmospheric, like you felt it in your stomach, like you felt the dread, you were like, what's going on, what's going on in this house? Uh, I feel it's late and the more I talk the more I have potential to spoil, but it's phenomenal. My boyfriend is currently playing some video games and I'm gonna sit in the background and read a la girlfriend reviews. <laughs> I don't know what could be more of a perfect night. It is like half, half midnight? How do you say that? Half twelve? Zero zero thirty in the morning. I am on part five of Gallant, which is here, page 230. So we are like, so nearly done. There's like less than 100 pages. I don't have coherent thoughts right now, I will chat tomorrow about everything that's happened up till now, but holy fucking shit. <laughs> um, it's kind of like there's a story within a story, if you can see that black bit in the middle, um, there's another journal in this and it's kind of like, I'm viewing it as a personal challenge, can I decipher the mystery? before our main character Olivia does. I have theories. I'm like, my glasses are on. I'm Sherlock Holmes in this shit. Um, but I'm so into it. I'm kind of like, even though it is like half past midnight on a school night, I would say, I say school night even though I work in research. I kind of want to stay up and finish it. I shouldn't. I should go to sleep. But Gallant, I think Gallant wins. The Ishwab, your bad influence on me. It is a few days after I have read Gallant. I, I don't know, I've meant to film this before now, but I literally just have not been able to like gather my thoughts into one cohesive thing to chat about. Am I there yet? No, this probably <laughs> won't be cohesive in the slightest, but I kind of thought I should do like an overall review and my thoughts on Gallant, which I have been spoiled by. I got another parcel in the mail today. Titan have given me a like hardback finished copy, which we, we need to look at this, come on. So kind of see him, design, proof copy. She's gorgeous, I am obsessed with like these roses everywhere. They're much my nails, so nice. And if we take off the cover, dust jacket, the dust jacket. Look at that, oh, like, Gorgeous. White. Beautiful. Signature V.E. Schwab font. But like, the end pages. Isn't that stunning? Is the back one? I, I still just can't believe this. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world, but I will stop going on with that and actually chat about this beloved book. So, I have mainly been deciding on what star ratings you give this. For someone who deals with statistics on a daily basis, I find it surprisingly difficult to give like ratings for books. I don't know, am I there? I feel like I'm either too generous or too harsh and there's no in between. But Gallant, 
I am giving 4.5 stars. It was fantastic. It really, really was good. The story had me so gripped to every page. And I think personally, my favorite thing was like how the setting was written. Like Gallant House was everything. You know, like there's a brief chapter or two um, before Olivia gets to Gallant, but the rest of the book is this one location, like this one manor house, essentially, and the ever so slightest little bit of its grounds. The mystery taking place on the grounds of Gallant just, I don't know, it felt like everything was kind of like closing in around you a little bit, you know, like she couldn't escape, you couldn't get anywhere, and the tension with the location was, oh, it was so good. V Shop's writing is stunning and keeps me at the edge of my seat every single time. And the characters, <laughs> oh, they're so good. Olivia is wonderful. And I think personally, my favourites were Hannah and Edgar, who you will meet soon if you haven't already. It's so hard not to just spoil everything because I just want to talk about this book and everything that happens in it in great detail. I don't think I have anything else to say. I think this is a comprehensive review of my beloved Gallant by V.E. Schwab. Uh, I don't know, let me know. Are you excited to read this book? Have you read it already? This is coming out like a few days before its UK release date. I know US viewers have it already, which is incredible, but let me think. I hope I've influenced you to pick up this book because it is so good, so good. V.E. Schwab, you have done it again. But thank you so much for watching this Gallant reading vlog and review. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.